everybody. Glad you tuned in to join. And this is about, totally about just practicing, putting in some time and effort to get your fingers working together really good and get your strumming working together really good. And in doing this, we're going to do a simple ascending pattern of chromatic notes like and then we're going to work it all up the neck from the 5th fret to the 12th fret and then we're going to change strings focus on up down picking and the other big thing that I've had to adjust to figure out like I had to figure out like why am I having trouble descending I used to struggle with that more so, and the reason why is because I wasn't really focusing it that the pinky was the downbeat, or the pinky for that phrase, starting a phrase no matter where it is in the measure, in the tone, in the you know, in the music, the way the music's going. When you slam that pinky down, that's your start. That's boom. That's one of that phrase. So um, I'm going to emphasize a little bit of the. I'm going to emphasize that in pointer and pinky and I suggest you do so as well sometimes guitarists move around because they're actually emphasizing to themselves to their memory to their body to their ears this is about to happen that's happening it's not just like this this makes me want to bob my head or something it's part of playing so I'm gonna start this really slow in fact I'm gonna do it once <coughs> Uh, without the drum beat to show like you're gonna start on the fifth you're gonna slide your index finger up just one fret to six seven eight then you're gonna slide your pinky up to the octave and go then you descend move your pinky down to eleven ten nine So that's what we're playing today. And if you wanted to watch this for entertainment, it's probably not the best video for that. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll mess with some of it just because I have time. It's very slow for me and very tedious to go through the first two, probably two tempos. So I'm gonna do a little bit of sliding like, like that or something. But other than that, it's not gonna be all that amazing. Um, I will, however, do a practice video coming up. This is the teaser is how do you make your practices more fun? When you do something like this that becomes not fun, how do you make it more fun? So I'm going to do a little bit of that now and um, more of it later. Get some drums going. Let's get some volume going.
tedious and slow and actually I just had that middle of the phrase idea to, to slide down and got a, a little off so I made a mistake or two sorry about that um, the point is is um, getting consistent so you chalk that up as focus better um, if you have an idea in the middle of your playing do it now during practice not when you're on the stage and you really just have this cool idea and you're like, I might be able to do it or just jumps in your head and you want to do it. You might want to hold off on that until you've practiced it a little bit. Um, so, because I had no planning to, to slide down to the note. So I really wasn't watching this, this second or third slide. I wasn't watching close enough and I went to the wrong spot. So now is the time to do that kind of screw up. So, uh, so next time when I do it, I won't miss it. I'm going to do it again but up at the octave and then because you need to practice this up here too um, I tend to have uh, a lot of comfort in the A area just because of the size of my hand um, a lot of people might work at the B area or you know or the C whatever whatever's comfortable and of course a lot of blues people will work at the E area um, as far as where your hand placement is so um, it's in that range um, so I'm going to go to the octave because obviously a lot of leads are up here and everything too and um, it's a different positioning and I really have to kind of bend under on this one uh, the neck is pretty wide on this it's 7 string so um, so since you're playing along just leave out the first the first notes just, and then come in here okay and those are called hammer-ons where you don't strum, you just slam your finger down and make a tone. Um, sounds a lot more open on a guitar, electric guitar versus acoustic guitar. And I'll do another video, another teaser for a video of hammer-ons and pull-offs and stuff. Um, so, let's go up here. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the, the tempo. Okay, so I went from 50 to 60. And that's a pretty big jump. Um, but for the sake of time in this video, I'm going to go ahead and jump in increments of 10 uh, right now. Just uh, to show the idea of starting really slow to get it smooth and speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. But t generally, if you're going to practice something very difficult for you, you really only go in increments of like 2 or 4. And then when you get up to the tip top speed, you're talking increments of 1. Um, if it's really, really difficult phrasing and lots of stuff to remember. So, let's do this at the 12th fret.
last one. Okay, so I was going to shout out last string, whatever, and, then, and um, I stopped my phrase and ended up going one fret low, so that's why I had to start over. Um, and again, that's why, this is why you practice, um, because you make the mistakes now, and you won't make them when, you, when it's most important. Um, one thing I haven't spoken of uh, is, um, let's see, what was I going to say? Be sure you keep that up-down motion going. You don't want to just go down, 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 or up, 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 up. Um, one thing that does make a difference when you're going, when you're descending, like from if you actually get in a habit of starting by picking up, when you do phrases where you descend multiple strings, if you pick up first, you will transition to the next note of the next string picking up, and it's smoother, like... It's called economy picking, where the last note you strum sets you up for the next note. So you're not strumming down and then having to come up to a different string. Because if you go down, like say on the E string, and have to come up and hit the B string, you have a lot of art to move. But if you just if you're going already up on the E string and move to the B string, your pick is already right there. So, in short, when you're descending, try to pick up first, and then that's just up, down, up, down, up, down, and then string change is going to be last note, and then next string. It's going to be you know sort of more like. <laughs> trying to emphasize there the pulling up um, as you're descending it makes it easier so and the and vice versa if you're ascending going up start strum down so when you get to the next string your picks already go in that direction so all right I'm gonna go ahead and bump up the tempo all right I'm gonna start back down here at five um, just it's good to bounce back and forth and I've gone from 60 to 70 beats per minute okay eight notes that's what I was gonna say what we're playing is eight notes <laughs> boom ba bum 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 the tempo is one two three four but we're strumming one and two and three and four and those are eight notes so that's one of the think in your head the beats going pretty slow but you're actually strumming twice as fast
so had a little fun there. Okay, another thing I was going to say is, is that once you get good at this, um, it's still good to go pretty, pretty slow and think about how every note sounds, how does it feel, what if you barely tick it with the pick and it barely sounds, what can you do? Um, I would suggest one thing you can do is do vibrato. If you barely tick it and you're, you have a second and you don't want to hit the note again, then just, just move your hand around and it will kind of squeeze out a sound. Basically, okay, so, so pay attention to every note and uh, if you're slightly off on your fingering, hear it, realize, okay, and because when you're playing slow, you can hear the different sounds that the strings are making and such and, and uh, kind of pay attention to what your guitar does. Because then when you're doing something more fast and you stop on the note, you already know what it's going to do. And you can also judge if you want to kind of press forward on the fret or slack on the fret or have a bending tone or something. You're a little more prepared. Um, so that's one benefit of practicing really slow is also just hearing the tones and learning your instrument really well. So I would suggest it at least during your warm-up or something, if you're already playing pretty fast, is you go ahead and play something intentionally a little slow and just listen to your instrument and, and just get to know it, just blow on it. Alright, kicking it up. Okay, now we're at 80. show what I would do uh, in a normal case, this is where I'm starting from, and I'm going to adjust my picking and adjust my left hand as well to kind of, to, um, well also to make it more melodic, to make it more fun. So alternating picking and like...
idea to hopefully mess with it. If you're already faster at playing, do the slow, the slow base of it and then mess around in the middle of it. Um, and one thing I didn't mention earlier is most of this I'm strumming without muting anything. But then when I started picking faster, I thought, you know what, I should, I should mute now, just go ahead and do it, and then say it. Um, when you're picking faster, the way to kind of to make it more obvious that you're picking faster is to mute the string a little bit so you hear like that. If you just let it ring, then it starts overpowering itself, maybe even through the amp, it's feeding back and getting louder, so you lose the articulation of picking. <laughs> So you can mute. Alright, I'm going to go up one more time. Okay, this is 90. myself to get those really clear and also to avoid thinking about them again because once you figure out something in practice and you thought of it it's like interrupted your practice or playing pretty much from then on if you practice it a little bit a few times it's going to be automatic after that you're not going to think about it you're just going to do it thanks for watching <laughs>